All right, let's talk about Whoopi. Whoopi. All right, so <laughs> per reports, the EGOT winner has become an equity investor in BLK Fam, Black Fam, a family focused streaming platform that, quote, entertains, educates, and celebrates Black American family friendly content. Larry Adams, founder of the streaming service, pushed forward with the venture after seeing, quote, a ton of R rated content from popular streaming services when looking for black programming for his family. Quote, black culture and content is so often stereotype, siloed, or written off. So I wanted to create a platform where my kids and I can be entertained without having to face those same daily biases. Adams told Variety. In 2023, Adams reached out to Goldberg to gauge her interest in joining the company. She gladly hopped on board as she considered her 10 year old granddaughter. And there you go. I'm curious about this. I mean, if, 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 if we'll be put her stamp on it, I want to know more. I would check it out. My kid is my kid is a teenager. We're exiting family friendly, so you know, just off individualism, I will say that I'm less interested than I would have been a couple years ago. But I will also say, <clears throat> excuse me, I will also say that I think this is a good move. He's right. There are places like Disney, for example. Disney is doing a lot to now expand towards adult content with them bringing back the Netflix shows and them incorporating those type of rated R shows into their fold. Um, and Hulu was already like Disney's adult platform. So uh, yeah, it's interesting that they did this move. I think it's a smart move. And I'm always down with our um, icons making big moves. You know, I know she's partial owner of the view situation. Uh, I know she's got some kind of equity over there. I don't remember how much, but I know she's got some kind of equity at The View. And so having equity in the streaming platform is a smart move. You know, you don't, I mean, we don't know how well it would do, but we do know streaming is here. Streaming is not going anywhere. And if she and, and other black icons and investors can put this platform in, uh, in rotation with the others where it stands a chance, excuse me, where it stands a chance, who knows what could happen from it? Yeah. So I think it's a, I think it's a good thing. And listen, trying to educate our youth is always a good thing. So I'm never against that. I agree with you. I think I, I think what I mean. I'm gonna try and get ahead of what they're doing over there. But um, you make a good point that we, we never know when there's something new adding to the market we don't know how people are going to take it we don't know how much of an audience it will have but at the very right. least it's out there and if they create great content even if they're not able to sustain it on their own maybe it is something that can be folded into something that already already exists um and then ultimately everybody makes money off of that right. um but like i said i'm not trying to get a ahead of myself i do think it's it's a really great concept um, I think that people look for things that they can watch and they can connect with their kids, with their kids and their families on these days, especially because uh, we talked the other day about um, kids growing up in a connected world at this point and <laughs> being able to find something, <clears throat> excuse me, that everybody in the family is on the same page about probably difficult especially when there's a family of i don't know more than three or whatever it is so this is a great way to kind of centralize some of that programming and yeah you know maybe it is something that you know your teenager can can watch with you like maybe it's a game show or maybe it's a cooking show or something like that that might be right. a little bit more i don't know sophisticated but not necessarily um or 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 less less childish, if you will, right? So, I would love to see what type of programming comes out of it. And I mean, if Whoopi thought well enough to give to put her stamp on it, um, I think that's pretty cool. And I 
think it's something that we should watch, um, pay attention to, um, and hopefully, you know, it will withstand the test of time because that's always, that's always the thing. I yeah. was trying to remember what was that streaming? Do you remember the streaming service that a few years ago, like everybody was on it and there, everybody had a show on it and then <laughs> Quib and Quibi, Quib something like that. I think it was Quibi. I, Where, I could be wrong. I know. I don't think. But you're it was wrong. definitely something like that because Drake was, even was involved at one point. Yeah, everybody was getting involved. Marseille Martin had, had a show coming out, and all of a sudden, they shut down the company because they weren't paying people. Right. So you know, some of this stuff can be fleeting. I don't. I don't want to bring that on on anybody who's starting out and 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 you know. Um, and getting their their ser their streaming service up and running, but it does make you think about how fleeting these things can be. It was Quibi. <clears throat> Quibi, yeah. So I hope that people I hope that people um, pay attention to this. I hope that people watch it. I hope it's content we can buy into, um, because I would love to see something like that flourish. Right. You know, so, so yeah. Agreed.